Now let's write the code. We will be needing a tree. So we need a class to create the nodes of that tree or you can say to create the tree. So here let's start with the node class. The node will be having value, left node attached to it and a right node. Now let's create the constructor, public node. And here this will take in value of the node. And here we will set up this dot value equals to value and this is the constructor. Now coming here in the main method, let's create the tree. So this is the tree. Here we are having root as 8. At the left we are having 7 and at the right of this 8 we are having minus 4. And at the left of 7 further we are having 3 and at the right we are having minus 6 and now at the right at the left of minus 4 we're having 7 and at the right we're having 9. So this is the complete tree that we're having here that we have created here. Now let's create method to convert this tree convert this tree into some tree. So convert into some tree and let's pass in the root. We are going to start from the root and let's create this method here. The first thing that we are going to do is to preserve the old value of this node that we are passing to this current convert into some tree function. Now we are going to go recursively in left to find out the sum of the left subtree. So node.left and here let's call it left tree sum. This method is going to return int. So let's change the return type to int. And now we are going to go recursively towards the right to get the right subtree sum. So let's change this left to right. And after getting left tree sum and right tree sum, we can update the current node's value as we've already preserved the old value. So the new value will be left tree sum plus right tree sum. So we have updated the value of the current node in the resultant tree. Now here we have to return the addition of node's old value and this new value. So here let's return node dot value plus old value. Now coming to the base case, base case is when we reach to a null, right? So here if the node is null, then return zero. So this is the implementation to our convert into some tree method. Now coming here, here we are calling this convert into some tree, but we also have to print this tree and we're going to print it in, in order. So here we are going to create one more method print in in order to print this tree in in order. So let's create this method and here we are going to follow the same pattern. First, we will go recursively towards the left. So print in in order and here let's pass in, let's change this node and here let's pass in node.left and then we perform the logic which is just to print the current node so here let's print node dot value node dot value and now we will go recursively towards the right computer will perform these recursive calls in the correct way it will perform this logic for each recursive call now the base case, if the node is null, then don't do anything, just return from there. Okay, now the implementation to both the methods is complete. And now here we have already invoked these methods. Now let's run this to see the output. So here see at the middle, we are getting 16, which is the value for the root node. And at the left, we are having minus three. And at the right of this root, we are having 16. And all the other leaf nodes, all the leaf nodes are having value zero. 